What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, well, well today. If you guys caught the last upload, you saw what we did to Jack's wife's Jeep. Put a lift kit on it and some new shocks, some other stuff. Then we took it and did, we did that. So now we gotta clean that up. First step is gonna be to take it down to the shop where the pressure washer is, because this thing is absolutely kicked tip to tail, even on the roof. Even on the roof. Get it down to the shop and we can get it started. Update from the inside. We have good, good, uh, good visuals here. Really, really see out of the mirrors. Whew. What a great site to be walking into. Dream Diesel 13 is live and it is mean. Deem this thing the silver bullet. Well, for obvious reasons, it's silver. And uh, well, it's, let's show you guys. All right, guys, we've deemed it the silver bullet because A, it's silver, which I said before, and B, it is twin turbo. None other than Whirly, so you know it's good stuff. Don't miss out on your opportunity to win this, guys. Head over to enthusiast.com and be sure to grab your entries. Because, tell you what, one of you will be taking this truck home in a short amount of time. Go grab those entries, guys. Oh, back to the matter at hand. Uh. Let's get some things here. We got the hose out already from washing. The Dodge yesterday before we gave it to Jake. Gonna need this, a lot of this. Park that right about there. Gonna need that, that. Which smells absolutely fantastic, by the way. Great stuff. Pour that in there, that. Throw that in there. And take this up here, and grab this. Extra sudsy, because this thing is a mess. Oh God, her pocket! Oh gosh! Oh, we're good, we're good. All right guys, and before I go nuts, making a whole bunch of noise with a very nice pressure washer, let's give you an idea of how bad this Jeep really is. <laughs> Mighty. Sorry about that. I got a little dirt on you guys. Uh, kind of hard not to get dirt everywhere with this thing. It's kind of everywhere. But I have a feeling cleaning this thing is going to be super satisfying, especially with all that mud coming off the nice white finish. Yeah, I think we should start pressure washing it. Well, that was like a solid two hours of pressure washing, I kid you not. But look how good this thing looks after just a pressure wash. I mean, you still obviously got a little bit of dirt, but stuff that you're gonna need to scrub off. But luckily we got enthusiast super foam for that. So I guess the next step would be suds this thing all up and give her a scrub down. Also, just an FYI for you guys, pressure washers, they have a little bit of pressure behind them. So you probably should not put your hand there. It's just a thought, you know, you guys do you, but I wouldn't do it. I apologize for the shakiness, but anybody that's ran one of these things can understand what your arm feels like after even just like 15 minutes of running it, let alone an 
hour, hour and a half. Pardon this in the last shot, but we're gonna roll with it because it's all part of the game. On to the super foam. Alright guys, time to get the tires a little less brown, at least dry. So for that we're gonna use Uziest Tire Cleaner, none other than, and uh, this nice blue brush that I found in the shop. Should work. And then also, just as a quick tip for you guys, get the cleanest tires possible. Keep spraying this stuff and scrubbing until the cleaner comes off white. So if it comes out brown, which I'll show you guys here on the first wash, rinse it off, do it again, and you'll get even cleaner tires. Which a lot of you already know, but you know, fun fact for you. Guys, we are nearing the end of this. Finally! Nah, I'm only kidding. Nah, I'm not kidding. This is terrible to clean, but it's getting done. We got, luckily, we got enthusiasts, nice car care products helping out. All we have left here is we got the glass and then the interior, since we all know that, that driver's side, where Jack and I were getting in and out, is a little bit filthy. So we gotta get that, wipe out all the door jams here since there's a little bit of residual mud, and then hit the glass. And then this will be all shined up for Kelsey. Think she'll notice that it's clean now? I don't know, I guess we'll see. All right guys, we're back. Sorry about that. Looks like I've been recording a week bit too much and fill that SD card up. I think I was finishing up with the glass and starting to wipe the door jams out. Ever since that's happened, obviously, I didn't know the camera ran out of ran out of a, a, a memory space, so progress has happened since that. We got the pedals all shined up, looking good. Got the jams all wiped out all around. Got the seat wiped off, got the jam wiped out. I ended up taking the floor mats out. And with those floor mats, I used the tire cleaner and that same brush because they're rubber and they were full of mud and dirt and caked on stuff. Came out looking brandy spanking new. Got the nice Jeep topographical map type thing. And all that's left to do is reinstall those and she will be fully done. Oh, guys, I also vacuumed out under where the mats go just to get all the extra mud out. Well, that's not right. Let's try putting them in the right side. One down. And that's a wrap. Like, you can't even tell. You can't even tell what we did to it two days ago. You wouldn't even know. Thankfully, we have all the enthusiast detail products and all that fun jazz. Stuff really made the job a whole lot easier. But as you guys know, I am running desperately low on storage space. Don't forget to get your entries to win Dream Diesel Giveaway 13. I mean, don't forget it's compound turbo either. But yeah, that's where we're going to end it. And we'll see you guys in the next upload. Peace. All right, Jake, great job on cleaning up the Jeep. It looks absolutely fantastic, man. I know we got it really dirty, but I would say the effort put into cleaning was all the more worth the big surprise that we had totally pulled on my wife, man. We absolutely killed that. Now, I don't know about y'all, but this has to be one of the most satisfying videos I've ever watched on my own YouTube channel because of all that dirt that was coming off. I don't know if I'm a lone majority here, but watching stuff get power washed is oddly pleasing to watch. So I'm gonna bring you guys around a little bit more at the property here because we just got a whole bunch of really nice topsoil dirt delivered. We've got in total a rough estimate of 250 tons of really, really nice dirt right here. You can tell the quality of it. It's nutrient rich because of its darker color. This came from the top of 
an excavating project right around the corner and fortunately I was willing to take all of it. This stuff is gonna help me a lot because not only will we be able to grow grass in this when it comes to spring and planting season, but it's a lot of dirt so I can use it to level out a lot of the rough patches in my front yard and I'll be able to take some of it, put it over to where we already did a lot of backfilling as we talked about in previous videos to put some nice glaze over that and then be able to grow some grass. That stuff over there is not all that nice right now. If we tried to plant some grass, it probably wouldn't work all that well. I know a lot of you guys have been absolutely loving all the work and construction that we've been doing on the property around here, so I had to bring you all along. Plus, I feel like this is just going to only add to the satisfaction content of this video because we got a lot of dirt that we got to move today. We are about halfway through the 250 ton of dirt that we got here in the front yard. Got about, I'm estimating half of it spread out as you can see, and it already made my lawn no longer a lawn look a heck of a lot different. It's definitely not perfect by any means, but that's not the intent. Rather, I just wanted to get it from pile form into a somewhat spread out form so I could kind of estimate what I'm dealing with and how much extra dirt that I have. We're looking pretty good over on this side of the yard as well. There's a small little spot that I need to touch up back there, but then I think I'm pretty much not going to need this dirt up here any longer so then I'm going to probably have to end up getting it to the back of the property which also needs considerable leveling like I had mentioned in previous videos I don't think the builder of our house did really any of the final grading work that is kind of expected when a new house is built so that's kind of surprising but it's been a fun project to take on and bring all you guys along with I know it was kind of random here at the end of the video but when I'm getting out here working around the property I just feel compelled to turn the camera on because I really don't want you guys to miss out on everything that's happening whether it's jeep stuff truck stuff or property stuff one thing I did find though is that this dirt isn't as clean as I initially thought it was going to be. I got this topsoil at a very good rate, so I really can't complain. But there's some black top and some larger stone that's mixed in. So, oh, God forbid, it looks like we're going to have to get ourselves a Harley rake and we're going to have to go out there and do some raking to really get everything perfect when it comes to springtime. I'm not all that upset about it. So that's where we're going to wrap up this video, guys. Thanks for tagging along. If you liked this video and how satisfying it was from start to finish, smash that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Tap the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Grab your five times entries for Dream Diesel giveaway number 13, and we'll see you all in the next upload. Bye.